Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in the Rizu Forest. You know, I, I think getting a thousand euros every hour is pretty reasonable by anybody's standards. I can't, I can't think that anybody's going to particularly complain about getting that kind of money. I certainly wouldn't. Does anyone else here have a problem with receiving 1,000 euros per hour? 1,000 euros an hour would be... Oh, I think... Because it's not an exact swap, but... Um, I don't know what the rate is at the moment. We've got 25,000 litres of grass in there. That's a lot more than 7,000 we had space for. Um, we... Yeah, 1,000 euros an hour is about 800 and... Uh, maybe 825, 850 pounds an hour. Um, US dollars, I think you're looking at 1,050 US dollars an hour. Something like that. I think the US dollar is slightly less than a euro. So, um, no, sorry, slightly more than a euro. So, um, yeah, it'd be something like that. Uh, I think it's roughly double for Australian dollars, so it'd be about 2,000 Australian dollars per hour. I don't know what the ratio is for Canadian dollars. I'm afraid I've got no idea on that one. And the same with New Zealand and, well, any other currencies, to be honest. Um, mm. Actually, we're finished with you, so you can stop. And I want to take this one and I'll run, up, run on up to this next field. Spread that fertilizer up there. Then that job is done. And so I've got some cars outside of these houses. I think we need to be looking at gardens out the back, but then we're going to be wanting fences to go with them. And the reason that I didn't want to get started on building anything like that just yet was purely because I'm not quite sure how much space behind the existing properties I want for more properties. Like... Uh, how much further back I'm going to take them. So if we build fences, it could end up sort of getting in the way of everything. But, I mean, we, we don't have to worry about that too much. If I'd come over just a little tiny bit more, I could have fit there with that. Never mind. It's not like we've got loads of it here, is it? I don't know why it does that. Sometimes it disables the cruise control. I think that might actually be my steering wheel starting to give up. I think, there, it's done it again as I came around the corner. I think I may have a slight issue. And again. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to think that my steering wheel is on its way out. Because I've noticed this happening lately. I'm going to have to buy a new steering wheel. Hmm. Oh, well. Well, if I gotta do it, I gotta do it. I don't know which one to get, because I've got the Driving Force GT. It's the um who's who's the ones that make it? Um Driving Force GT. The uh uh uh, uh not Technica. Uh, yeah, Logitech. Logitech Driving Force GT. However, it's quite an old steering wheel. It's been around for a while and I've had this one for quite a long time. Um, and this is my second one of these, actually. I had another one, and they don't make the Logitech Driving Force GT anymore. So I'm probably going to have to get the, like, the, I think it's the G20, uh, the G29 now, I think, is, is the, the new one. Um, and the G29 is a more, an, it, it is more expensive. It, it is a more expensive toy. And... Quite frankly, I'm not sure that I can afford it, but how much choice do I? Right, I want to see, because these are 1,000 litres each, so we kind of want to leave that going a little bit longer. So if I put this to 120 times speed, then we go here, we go to construction like this, and we move up over here. While the day is ticking past at 120 times speed, we can start doing a little bit more in here with decoration. Now, the only problem I've got with decoration is I got a lot of stuff to scroll through. And unfortunately, there's no scroll bar that you can just click on and, and move on here. And 
that really does bug me. Like, more than it should. That that really does irritate me that there's no scroll bar for it. I think there should be a scroll bar that you can cycle through. And there isn't. And that, I just, I find that intensely irritating, to be honest. Uh, I think we, what we're going to do to start with for landscaping here is I'm going to start with this house right here. I think this house is the one that we want to be working on a little bit. And then we can work on some others later. So we're going to go with the green here. We want to we want to do that. So I want to change you and make that a little bit bigger there. I don't need a footpath going around the outside of the house on all sides. So we'll bring this over here like this. There. And connect that up. Let's start raining now. And then we'll fill in the lawn here. And that's going to be lawn up to the edge of the house down this side. Now, we can always change this around a little bit and put a footpath in here. But for now, I want to kind of like make that quite big. Back through. There's some rough patches there that we need to smooth out. I'll do that in a minute. So this here, the lawn is going to come out that way as well. Do it down there. Now... We'll just go to the sculpting. There, I kind of want to just smooth that off a little bit there. Gonna make that look better. And out the back here. Now, this is the bit that we kind of want to be a little... So, we got some concrete there. Unfortunately, that's the direction of the, the square for the concrete. So, we're going to need to do this as a circle. And got to make it a little bit bigger because the small circle it doesn't seem to like it and then we can turn this into patio i don't think i've got i don't this map unfortunately right it's five o'clock so i have to stop that now that's what we can do we can just do a little bit each day on the days that we're not doing other stuff i think that'd be the best way for us to sort of work through this and you over here 680 liters you're not going to get to another 300 litres on here. How much are we selling this for now? Six. Oh, it's still going fairly well. Still going fairly... Yeah, it's not going to. It's not going to reach it. So we'll sell these two pallets right here. We've got two pallets that we can sell. I'll load them up with this truck. We'll take them over to the sell point and we will sell them immediately. And then that's done. So we've got those. Anything else that is produced... This money is going to go towards the next sawmill that we want to get. There's a fence right in the way there. But, I mean, the this one's not going to stay here either. This one's also going to be shifted. Background. Yeah, there is another texture that you can get, which is uh, square paving slabs. But unfortunately, it's not enabled on this map. And I don't know how to modify a map to be able to enable that. So um, there isn't a lot that I can do about that. I would really, 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 really like to get it, though, at some point. So, I mean, hopefully there will be, you know, may maybe an update for the map will happen and we'll get some additional painting options. We've got quite a few on this map. Don't get me wrong. Like, the, some of the maps that come out, you've got, like, a sink you know grass asphalt and stone and that's it and i i don't really see the point of that like we we want to be able to paint and adjust and alter and and create and and all sorts and there are so many different options that you can get and they are available they are in the in the files you do have the stuff there so painting for example we've got here we've got animal mud and then there's dirt there and i think you can even add your own ones so I got granite and rock. I got two different types of stone in here, and then we've got gravel, and we've got the two types of grass, which I'm infinitely grateful for, because so many of them don't have the dry grass one. We've got the forest ground, a uh, bit of dirt, and then concrete and asphalt. But there are others. There's a concrete slab, which is like a square pattern, um, and I think you can even make your own and add but there's more painting options and it's the same with the plants like we've got one type of grass here which is the meadow grass there's other types of grass available 
Plus, there's also flowers that you can add in and, and things like that, which would be absolutely amazing if we could have those added in here. But we don't have them at the moment. I'm just hoping against hope that one day there'll be an update to the map that will add all of those extra painting options, which would be so cool. It would be so awesome if that would happen. I'm going to skip. Actually, I'm going to go to the... I'm actually going to go to my caravan to, to sleep the night. And we'll see if it does anything for this insane flickering. Right, that got me 10 grand overnight. And now I have 30 grand. And flickering hasn't changed, unfortunately. Hmm. Right, there's not a lot that I can do about that. There's also not a lot that I want to do through September. I've got this one over here that we could do something with. I've got logs over there that we could load up and take down to the sawmill. The one thing that I am going to do in a minute is I'm going to jump down to the sawmill. Visit. Yeah, this one's got the same going on with the, the crazy trees. We've got two logs left here. So they, they are using them up ever so slowly, getting through them, which means that we will want to go and, and load up a few more. But that's absolutely, everything's working fine down here, so we, we've got no issues with what's happening down there. I'm not going to cut, I'm not going to cut trees today. I'm going to cut trees today. I'm up to 30 grand. Go to construction costs, and we want factory... Taylor Sugar Mill. Which one is it? Carpentry. 60 grand. I'm halfway there. We're halfway there at the moment. So we come out of here a minute. And I'll put that one up to 120 times. So I'm not going stupid fast. I'm not going stupid fast with it. But 120 times speed I think is pretty reasonable. And then I'll go to construction. And we'll go back over to the house that we were working on over here. And we will keep doing a little bit. So what I was in the process of doing on this one, landscape painting, because I don't have a, a concrete paving slab option, I'm going with just normal concrete like this. And this is going to kind of be like we'll have an area out the back like that. So it's kind of like a patio out the back of our house just there. Unfortunately, because I've gone and put the property on an angle... That would be the angle that our patio would... Ooh, wait, idea. Light bulb. We will do that. And I'll go out that way. And that's going to be our patio. Some people have big patios. Some people have patios at an angle. So we'll put a patio there, and then I will take grass. Let's bring it up a little bit. There we go. All right, it's it doesn't do such a solid line as it used to do in the last version of the game, unfortunately. It does round the corners a lot more than it used to, but we've still got the same stuff happening. So let's bring that. Out there. And I'll bring that one up in there like that. Yeah. I want to put... Okay, now I will go... Back to concrete, but I'm going to put this as a circle. And we're going to have concrete path down the side here. Go like that. There, that's that's pretty reasonable coming out the side there. And then I can have grass. I can grass this bit over here. And I can also then put grass out here. I'll try and get that bit in there with concrete. There, like that. It's the fact that it's at an angle. It It is making this look a little bit peculiar. 
So we'll sort of have to do it like that. We, we can't really do any better than that. So I want to bring this one in a little bit more so it's down off the hill. There. All right, that's looking pretty reasonable, I think. I'm then going to go with dirt, and I'm going to just put a little bit of dirt there on the edge of the house. Just like that. It's not a lot. There's a little bit there, and I'm going to do the same over this side. It's going to go from the door, and it's going to go back that way. Bring it out a little bit there, like that. I don't think we need to do any more than that. We can just have it like that. It doesn't need to be any extra. Then we want to go to plants. I need to go to the grass. Switch that over. And this one, we just slowly fill in. We can do grass down the side of the house like that. Fill that all in. It's getting towards the end of the day. I think this is going to work out, actually. Get in the comment section if you tell me uh, if you think that this is all right. So we're still advancing through the seasons. I'm not stopping and getting carried away with a big, long session of doing um, landscaping. So those of you who don't particularly want me to do lots of it at once, then you're not sort of getting inundated with it. But I am able to progress with the 120 times speed that we use for progressing through the day. So I'm just going to bring that up there like that. I can't really do landscaping in the dark. So when it gets dark, I haven't really got any choice. I've got to stop. Push that back over there. All right, it's, it's dark. I can't really do any more. So we jump out and we go and get a little bit of shut eye. We'll have a quick look at the sawmill and just see what we've got over here. So it's on 430. and We've got two pallets there, but we don't want to sell those now. Because I sus... Oh! Five, nine, five, three. Hmm. It's about halfway. All right, no, I'm not. I'm not going to do that again. So I'm up to thirty-eight thousand. Let me skip the night. We're on thirty-eight thousand. It's probably going to take us close to fifty thousand. I need another ten grand, and then I can buy the next sawmill. Uh, Thirty-seven thousand eight hundred. This is nine thousand four hundred. I've got three pallets of that. Let me slow things down a little bit. Thirty times is fine. And we're going to have a look in here. So furniture, 575. Five, that's pretty low. But that will give me 15,000. So that'd be 42, 52. But 53,000. It's still not enough, to, not enough to buy the next one, though. Hmm. All right, I'll leave it for a minute. What is the situation with you? Out of space, I've got 104,000 there. That doesn't need to be changed. The grass silage has now finished, so I can deactivate that one. Uh, we are in October, and it's still flickering. I don't even know what colours it's flickering between now, because it was kind of like flickering to this colour, wasn't it? And I want to go here. I want to have a look at silage. Silage, silage, silage. When are we selling that silage? Where are you? There we go. 529. It goes up to 570 in January. Right. So we've got a couple of months left. We've got loads of space. We're going to have to go another day. I think I think one more day will be absolutely fine. So we go 120 times speed. Go back to our construction. Where were we? So we're working on this house right here. So we've got a bit of a patio out the back. I've done most of the work that I wanted to do on the side. We've got shrubs and bushes off to the side over here. We kind of want to fill in the middle. Um, so I'm still working on the landscaping bit at the moment, which means I want a bit more grass going in through here like this. And I'll bring that in over there. So all of the bank is grassed out. And 
That's going to come over there. So we've, we've got the bank mostly grassed out up here. I want to put a few more shrubs on the bank up there. And out over here. It's like that's going to be a, a, a big shrubbed area. And then we'll put some more grass up there. But we won't do that just yet. So out the front here. Don't really need to change anything there. Uh, go into decoration. And we'll be doing wildly different fences on each of them. Now I know in some places... Certainly in the US, you've got all of these HOAs, these homeowner associations. I've been reading um, horror stories about homeowner associations, and it seems horrible. You've got these people who just dictate everything that you are and are not allowed to do to your property. Um, here in the UK, I think you do get some of them, but not a lot of them. People do what they want with their own place. So you'll have one property that's got a fence like that along the front of it, and then right next door you'll have one that's got a fence like that next to it and then next door to that you'll have someone that's got you know iron bars up against theirs like that you get stone walls and hedges and you know some people will go for something like that um you get all kinds of like different fences and hedgerows and everything and it looks quite cool i think I've, I've always liked the, the look of that once it's, it's all in. So we've got a, a hedgerow here. And these people here, the, these are going to have, have a hedgerow. Now, I'm looking at that road that's going up there. And it, it kind of like, we, we need to straighten that one out a little bit. So we're going to work on the road a little bit. Go to painting and we'll go to our gravel option right here. And then... A little bit bigger like that. Okay, so that's going to come down there like that. It's going to come out away from the houses over here on this side. Uh, it doesn't need to come out away from the houses on the other side. But the reason that I want to do that is because I think that this needs to be brought out like that. So that sort of straightens that bit up a little bit. I think there's a little bit extra that wants to come out there. And then that just needs to take off that front there. Right, let's have a look at that. It looks a little bit more even down through. This one here definitely needs a little bit of extra put in there just because it's it's not completely right i'm using the dry grass texture just here i'm doing that quite deliberately and i also want to bring that one in a little bit as well so we've got a little bit extra there that seems about right and then if i go into plants end of the day already yeah just make that a little bit bigger um i'll fill in grass and I'll fill in some grass there. And I'll fill in some grass there. And now it's too dark to work, so we'll have to stop. Right. October right now. Ooh. Okay, so we're running out of space there to put pallets. Let me go and have a look down here. How much space have I actually got? Right. It'll put the pallets down, but then it'll run out of space, and then it'll fill up with another 4,000 litres. So I want to skip the night. I'm on 46,000 at the moment. It's raining. And we are now on 44,000. Wait, what? I was on 46,000 just now. I didn't get anything overnight that time. And the trees are still going crazy. I'm, I'm not quite sure what's going on with some of this. Some of it doesn't really make a lot of sense. But I do know that I can go and move those pallets out of the way. So we're on the 45,000. We'll move the pallets out of the way. And I think I will 
today run down to the sawmill and I will load up the oh I forgot about this is an update with the auto loader mod and now what it does if you press R and have it start loading it keeps it automatically on auto load until you manually switch the thing off which is quite cool I like it but you got to remember to actually switch the thing off. That, that, that's always a, a good idea. So I'm just going to bring this one over here. And we're going to dump these pallets over here as a storage space. So they can go right there like that. Just unload them there. I'm also going to leave this trailer here as well. And today we are going to go and get... Let me just slow. We'll go to about 30 times speed. We're going to go and get the trailer that's already looking a lot better like with the, the grass up against the house there like that and then you've got the footpath around the side I'm going to do a hedgerow around that house I think and we'll do a few other little bits maybe put a barbecue in the garden for that one and we also need to build the road down through here but I want to pick up the rest of the logs that we've got which is why I'm now going to go and fetch the what it called down through here the trailer I go and fetch the logging trailer that we've got all the way up through here and once I've got that one we can bring it back load up those logs and then bring them back down here ready for processing in the sawmill and there's a sawmill there I'm not going to cut these trees out of the way. I'm going to leave them there because I'd actually like to load them up and use them in the sawmill itself. The one other thing that I do want to find out in a minute is how much we got in here. 103. That one... Okay, I don't know if I got room for them in here. It does take them both. But that fills it up to 110,000. So I actually, I think I've wasted some of that wood. That went up to 110. I don't know how much I wasted just then, but I, I'm sure, I'm absolutely positive I just wasted a little bit. It'll be interesting to find out once I unload the next lot, will it dump all of the logs if I try to unload? Because it hasn't before, but, you know, we've had game updates since then. Game updates are dangerous. They change things. And although normally I'm quite positive when it comes to change when it comes to change in this game change is not necessarily always good change can lead to tremendous headaches for anyone that is trying to have consistency through a youtube series like i am um it can get dicey change can be very very dicey uh where is my auto load set is it's I don't, I don't remember what set what what set what side i'm set on uh, number of piles. I'm on a switch pile one. Am I working on pile one? Dude. I am working on pile one right now. Just Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.